everyone, it's Marie Clark here. I'm a new member of the video design team here at Honeybee Stamps, and I'm super excited today to bring you a project using some really awesome products from Honeybee Stamps. I'm going to be using this really sweet Snow Buddy stamp set. I really love this set. There's a bunch of really amazing, adorable images, and I'm going to be using this little snow person. I'm gonna be using a bunch of the dies and several of these images from this stamp set will be on my card today. So really love this. There are coordinating dies for all of the images in this set, and I think that's a really sweet and adorable stamp set. I'm also going to be using one of the dies from this Thresholds die set. This is a honey cut set, and I'm going to be using the word hello as the sentiment on the front of my card today. I really think this die set is uh, super unique. I, I think it's a really cool set, and I'm sure you'll see me using that on future cards here on this channel. I'm also going to be using the Rectangles Windows Rectangle Windows Trio die, and I'm going to be using a sentiment from the Everything Wonderful stamp set. This stamp set is Everything Wonderful. It is beautiful, and it has some really awesome sentiments that are very versatile for lots of different types of cards and projects that you might want to make. This is the finished project for today that I'll be taking you through, and I really love how this turned out. I think it's actually a combination of super springy, but yet maybe late spring, if you're living in an area where maybe you still have snow in March or April. And I am going to be taking, to start off with here, the Rectangle Windows Trio die, and I'm going to cut out these windows in my card front. So this is an A2 size card, and I'm working on Bristol Smooth cardstock. Now that I've got that all cut out, I'm going to use some Crack Pistachio, Squeeze Lemonade, Twisted Citron, and Peacock Feathers Distress Oxide inks to blend on some color onto the front panel of my card. Ultimately, this is going to be a shaker element, and I just wanted to create just some really pretty springy light colors. So here goes my Twisted Citron that I'm blending into that Cracked Pistachio. And now I'm going to add a little bit of squeeze lemonade to the card as well. So this is uh, just blending on beautifully. I really like how this Distress Oxide ink blends onto Bristol Smooth cardstock. And I'm just going to intensify the colors a little bit by going over them one more time with some more ink. And lastly, I'm going to add a little bit of peacock feathers to the bottom of my card just to add a little bit of blue. And the whole color scheme for this card is going to be yellow greens, blue greens, yellows, pinks, uh, just really meant to be super, super springy in nature. I am going to have one little brown bunny on my card, but I also have some gold sequins in my shaker mix that I think help my little brown bunny blend in. So I'm almost finished up here with my ink blending. Now I'm just going ahead and adding that peacock feathers to the bottom. You'll just see how this, that just adds just a really pretty uh, base for my card at the bottom there. Just going to go over top of the other parts of the card a little bit too with that peacock feathers. Now I'm taking some sheer shimmer spritz from Imagine Crafts and I'm just going to spritz this over top of this uh, card front and it's just going to add the most pretty sparkle and shine. Now I've just done this in a cardboard box on my desk just to make sure that that shimmer spritz doesn't go everywhere on my table. So there you can see how pretty that is. That's all dry. And now I'm ready to stamp out my images. I'm going to use my Misty stamping tool here to stamp out my images onto some 80 pound Nina solar white cardstock. I'm using Memento Tuxedo Black ink because I am going to be doing some ink blending with some Copic markers. So there you can see all of the images are stamped out on my Nina cardstock and I'm ready to do some Copic marker work. Now, I don't show you all of the Copic coloring on camera, but I do show you the vast majority of it. And I just wanted to mention, I am not the world's greatest Copic artist, I just do some really, really basic coloring here. And for my little snow person, I'm actually going to only put a little bit of BG10 around the outside edges, just around the perimeter. And that's just really gonna be just some really nice, simple color, just to indicate that this is sort of like a little frosty snow person. I didn't want the carrot to be bright orange because I didn't want any orange in my color palette. This is almost like a nose that's a parsnip for my little snow lady. Um, so I'm just using a little bit of a light YR color. 
I'm just going to add a little bit of pink to her cheeks and to her mouth and she is all finished. Now you'll just see me going in with my bunny. I'm only going to use two different colors of brown. I believe I use E53 and E55 just to add a little bit of really simple coloring to this really sweet little bunny image. I'll put a tiny little bit of pink in her little ears and on her cheeks and I am going to color my little bunny here or my little bunny scarf with some blue green. So once again repeating the blue greens, greens, uh, yellow, yellow greens etc on my little images to complete my little color scheme that I have going on here for my card. So just adding in a tiny little bit of shading. I don't think I ever in this coloring use more than two colors of a color family. So just some really basic uh, coloring and shading here. So I do use my W grays for my other little bunny here just to give this little bunny just a really nice warm look. Uh, I feel like both of my bunnies are just really nice warm colors and I like how they look when they're all finished here. So just giving that little bunny a little bit of pink in her ears and a little bit of pink to her cheek. And this little bunny is going to have a little green sweater on. I think that's so cute and springy. I really love it. You could actually make this stamp set into an Easter stamp set if you wanted by adding a few little eggs if you have some stamps with some little Easter eggs or a little Easter sentiment of some sort, because um, I may have mentioned this before, but we do actually still have snow where I live in the spring. And oftentimes at Easter, we still have snow. So it is completely legitimate to possibly be making a snow person in the spring where I live. I wanted to just duplicate the brown combo in that little nest and just using the same colors of blues on the bird that I used on the um, snow person and just like I said continuing my color scheme throughout doing some really simple blending with a two color blend on each of those different images. Now I'm ready to take the dies and these dies like I said it's just so awesome that there is a die for each one of the images in this stamp set and so I've die cut all of those pieces out. Now I'm ready to start working on my shaker element. So I've taken a piece of cherry lin acetate and I'm going to um, cover the back of of my card front with this acetate using some double-sided adhesive. So I'm just going to get that double-sided adhesive around the perimeter of my card front. You'll just see me adding that down here. I'll take the backing off of that adhesive and then I will add that acetate to this shaker element. So you're just going to see me here adding this on to the acetate. Notice that I'm just really smoothing that card out as I go and I did let that distress ink dry so that that is completely completely dry. Anyone who's worked with distress ink you know that it does take a while for that to dry and if you get your fingers on it too soon it will actually leave fingerprints. Now I'm trimming off that extra acetate with my scissors and I'm just showing you here I'm going to adhere a piece of white cardstock onto the back of my my shaker element with some foam adhesive strips. Now these are Doris foam strips. I absolutely love them. They are the perfect size for a shaker element and I've divided the section off with the window on the back because I only want my shaker bits to be in that section where the window is. So I've just made a little partition there so to speak. Now I'm taking my anti-static powder tool and I'm adding that to the inside of my shaker area so that my shaker bits don't stick to that adhesive. This is some really pretty Lucy's Cards um, a shaker mix and this shaker mix is called Mint Gold and I just absolutely love it. It's got greens and golds, little stars, tiny little beads and I'm just going to divide this off into the three little areas where the window are is, windows are, <laughs> and um, there's not enough foam to create that much dimension that these are going to move, but there's just enough foam to add dimension to allow the shaker element to actually be part of the card, if that makes sense. Now I've taken my card base and this is some Gina K cardstock. I love this tone of green. I think it's super pretty and I'm just going to add my whole shaker element card front to this card base and this is just an A2 size card will fit perfectly in an A2 size envelope and I'm just going to add a little bit of my Kokio tape runner here to the back 
and then adhere that onto my card base. And now I'm ready to start adding my little die cut embellishment pieces from my Snow Buddy stamp set to the front of my card. There you can see the inside of my card all ready to be stamped with a sentiment. And now I'm ready to go ahead and add some details. Now that little heart die is actually from the Snow Buddies die set. And of course the hello is from the Threshold die set. Now you can see here I've cut that out of some white cardstock and I've also cut it out of some Lawn Fawn Pixie Dust cardstock as well. I'm going to layer all three of those hellos together with that glittery um, sparkly cardstock on the top so that my little sentiment here is going to be dimensional on my card front and it's also going to be sparkly and shiny on top. I'm just going to use a little bit of my adhesive, my liquid adhesive to stick those three layers together and then there's a perfect little sentiment for that little area on my card in between I guess between the first or the top and bottom window so on that middle window is where I plan to add that now I'm taking a little bit of liquid adhesive I'm going to put my little snow girl uh, snow person down here and I'm I keep saying I keep saying snow lady because I'm going to give her that that funny little spring hat I think it's so cute and I'm also going to um, add some of these bits with some foam adhesive. So the little birdies, I'm going to pop up on some foam adhesive to give them some dimension. And I will just stick the little presents down and the arms on the snow person just uh, without foam adhesive, just with liquid adhesive. And so that some things are going to be dimensional and some things are not on my card, which just made sense to me. And I really like how this turns out when it's all done. So here you can just see that I'm going to continue to add the little details to my card front to those little window areas. So I'm going to have this little bunny at the bottom looking up at my snow girl. I'm going to have a little present in front of her. It's almost like they're just celebrating and there's going to be some presents involved and some happiness <laughs> for sure. So get that down. And I cut some of those little hearts or that I used that little heart die to cut these three little heart embellishments out of that glittery cardstock as well. And now I'm ready to glue down my hello and that is going to pretty much finish off my card front. So I really like how this came together. I think it's super cute. I think there's a lot of different occasions that you could give this card and you could stamp a bunch of different types, obviously sentiments inside this card and just to make it for whatever occasion you want. I'm just using a shimmer pen here to add a little bit of shimmer and shine just to a few of the little um, bits. I add this to the little birds and I also add this to the scarf and the sweater of the little bunny. I add this to the ribbon on the two presents and the hat of the little snow lady just to give a little bit of shimmer and shine to a few of the elements on the card because there are a lot of really shimmery elements. I wanted to just kind of continue that theme with the little die cut pieces. Now I'm going to take my little white gel pen here and add some little dot details. Um, it's really important to do this after you add that shimmer pen because the shimmer pen will actually activate this white gel. So um, I always add this after I've added any of that shimmer pen that I'm going to be adding. So you can just see I'm adding some highlights to cheeks and to eyes. I'm adding some polka dots on some of the different little elements just to create a little bit more detail on my card. And I always find when I'm making a card, these little things that um, you do to finish a card off, just add that extra little bit of detail that really make a difference in your final product. And I always like to take the time to do that. Now I'm ready to stamp out a sentiment on the inside of my card and so I'm going to use a sentiment here um, may your day be filled with joy I could have also chosen something else there but this is what I chose and I like it I am going to use this little piece of acetate grid paper to help me line up where my sentiment's going to be stamped out. I just keep this little piece of acetate underneath my mouse pad in my Misty, and I use that often just to make sure that I get things lined up. I'm not the person that always can eyeball things straight. And so I've got that all nicely lined up on my Misty window, and I'm going to stamp it out here with some Nocturne VersaFine Claire um, ink. This is just a really nice crisp black ink for stamping out sentiments. 
And once I'm done that, I want to just take this other little die cut piece um, that has the little bird in the nest and add that into the area on the inside of my card, just using a little glue dot. And that's going to be it for my card. Please make sure that you check the description box below this video where it says show more and check out the link to honeybee stamps. Hop on over there because there are so many amazing products at honeybee stamps and just so much to love. I absolutely love this company and their stamps and dies. I think they're amazing and I had so much fun creating this card you guys. I really really did and I hope you enjoyed it too. So I hope you have an amazing day and I hope you stop by here again another time to Honeybee Stamps and check out all of the good stuff that's happening. I do have a couple of still shots here of my card and so you can see up close and that's going to be it for me today. So have an amazing day and I'll see you again. Bye-bye.